Establishing Abundant Natural Systems. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 579. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Jay, and this is our April 22nd, 2024 edition of Weekly Progress Update. Today, I want to talk about establishing abundant natural systems. I want to talk about this because our civilization is built on tapping the abundant natural systems of our planet. And unfortunately, we've gotten to the point where we've tapped those abundant natural systems, many of them so deeply and so aggressively that they are starting to collapse. They're starting to be destroyed. And we have the ability to turn this around. We have the ability to, to address the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come if we take massive action. And so one community is about establishing abundant natural systems and rejuvenating abundant natural systems that include humanity. Recognizing that we are part of the ecosystem. We're not just part of the ecosystem. We are the keystone species in the ecosystem that is our planet. And so if we have the ability to create a world that works for everyone, and we do, doesn't it make sense to do that? We think that the answer is a loud and resounding yes, it does make sense to do that. And the time is now, never in the history of the world have we had the ability to collaborate globally like we do right now. Never in the history of the world have we had the ability to use science and technology to address the greatest challenges of, of our generation and generations to come. Never before in history have we had the need to take dramatic action like this. And so one community is establishing abundant natural systems with everything that you see happening in the background of this video and so much more. We're taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as food, energy, and housing, and using those to build a foundation for sustainable living that will reduce the cost of living, that will be more resilient and more abundant than the way people are living right now. And we're adding those to the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified and call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, education, economics and stewardship and we're putting all this together into a teacher demonstration model and hub to build eco communities villages and cities sustainable eco community villages and cities to operate as teacher demonstration hubs designed to teach other people how to create and build these teacher demonstration hubs as well in a self-replicating model made self-replicating because it's designed to be easy enough affordable enough and attractive enough for the idea to spread on its own to achieve that tipping point of mainstream adoption so that we can finally become a sustainable civilization. And we're building all this on state-of-the-art collaboration models, using the internet, using software that we're developing for, for collaborating and coordinating all of this and trailblazing blazing a path to global sustainability, one volunteer at a time, now with over a thousand volunteers having contributed to our project with over 300,000 hours of research, development, and collaboration already completed, so much more, creating easy to follow free shared plans for establishing these abundant natural systems that take the complete human experience and demonstrate what is possible. We take the physical foundations and recognize that these physical foundations without these emotional foundations are not enough. And these emotional foundations without these physical foundations means we're not surviving. And we're putting it all together and creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for replicating all of this as teacher demonstration hubs, but also so it can be replicated as individual components. So maybe somebody just wants to 
grow a garden for the first time or improve their soil in ways that they never considered before. You know, maybe a person just wants to establish sustainable energy infrastructure for themselves and eliminate their power bills. Maybe somebody wants to build a home that's built without toxic materials and is more artistic, beautiful, and lasts longer than current housing. Maybe somebody wants to participate in some aspect of our fulfilled living and social architecture, the culture of growth that is a part of one community that we'll be live streaming and contributing and sharing as well. Maybe somebody wants to run a home-based education program that is built on the most revolutionary education programs that humanity has ever created. Waldorf, Regio, uh, Montessori, the Nine Intelligences, ORF, all combined into one and showing how to do that and running a community-based or uh, uh, home-based education program that they can share with their friends and family. Maybe somebody wants to apply wants to apply one of the economic models. Maybe they want to run their own nonprofit organization. We've already open sourced our plan on how we did that. You know, maybe somebody wants to run a resource-based economy or maybe a uh, something like a tool library, which is part of a resource-based economy. Maybe somebody wants to use our open source software for managing all this and how we have created a tool for managing a virtual team that we're growing to 300 plus people and will maintain for the foreseeable future and use that for, for managing their own projects. These are just examples, like these are just tastes of what we're doing. So our idea for establishing abundant natural systems is to take the complete human experience and say, there is a natural order that is maximally supportive of that human experience. And it includes the physical foundations of sustainability as well as the emotional sound foundations of sustainability. And we can create a way of living that is for the highest good of all people in life on this planet and take the everyone for themselves paradigm, which has been demonstrated to be ridiculously ineffective, inefficient, and destructive, and replace that with the highest good for all paradigm. Not replacing it by battling against this as Buckminster Fuller says, and I'm paraphrasing, you know, you don't create a new paradigm by fighting against the old paradigm. You create a new paradigm, creating a better way of doing things and allow that to replace the less good version of that. And so I should memorize that quote because I kind of talk about it a lot. But the idea is that, you know, we're creating these natural abundance systems to show that this way of living will be far superior to the way that most people are living right now. And we want to make it accessible to everyone. And so we're creating the tools, tutorials, the step-by-step -step instructions for all the different components so that we can build teacher demonstration hubs and a global cooperative and a global collaborative of teacher demonstration hubs working together to share these ideas, to evolve these ideas and create even more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions so that we can create these these uh, uniquely meaningful life experiences within these communities, this living experience built on this abundant natural system and this model of living that most people will prefer. Most people prefer and making that available to everybody. And so we've made a mountain of progress towards this and uh, it's time to discover what the next step looks like. And so we're bringing together more and more people, we're building our team, we're continuing to put the time and energy into creating the plans, getting closer and closer to be able to start construction so that we can, you know, put this whole process on steroids and exponentially grow the process even faster and reach that tipping point of mainstream participation such that we can say as a species that we have achieved a sustainable civilization. That's our goal. A world that works for everybody because we see the greatest challenges of this generation generations to come as not only interdependent but as interconnected. And so this model is designed to address the roots and the foundations of homelessness and and food insecurity and social injustice and inequality and lack of quality education and lack of energy infrastructure and internet access where that's missing and all of these things war poverty all of these things to address the foundations of all of those things simultaneously and to create groups working together to address them even faster and even better so this is where we're up to. We're a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. We're an all-volunteer organization. We're creating this because we want to live this way. Creating this because we see it as possible within one generation through a self-replicating model like this that's made easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to replicate on its own. 
and everyone's invited to participate. If you want to see how, visit our helping page. If you like the easiest way to help out, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch to the end to help our algorithm. If you'd like to uh, get a weekly dose of positivity in your inbox, if you dig this kind of thing, subscribe to our newsletter through our, through our website and um, yeah, know that we're establishing abundant natural ecosystems right now. Natural systems, not ecosystems, natural systems right now through these foundations of physical foundations, the emotional foundations, open sourcing and free sharing it. This is the establishment process of building this foundation that will be able to self-replicate. Everyone's invited to participate. And until next week, we will of course keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Thank you.